sick. That's too bad. I'm sorry, Theo. Pippin, it's the first time he's come to you for help. I don't know very much about ducks. You look at him? Please, Pippin. All right, let me have a look. Now say something hopeful. This is a very sick duck. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do. No, wait, Theo! Come here. Come kneel right next to me. It was like a painting. Man and boy at prayer. God, I know it's going to sound a little crazy, but this boy loves this duck. His breath has ebbed. His pulse is low. His feet are webbed, but even so, you must know that all the war tears are poised to burst. We've kept our faith warm through the worst. We haven't cursed our luck or run amok. Please reward our luck, luck, and save this dog. sunset, the duck died. I'm sorry, Theo. Why'd the goddamn duck have to die? <laughs> and then an interesting thing happened. Theo plunged himself into monumental despair, while, on the other hand, Pippin, that prince of despair, dedicated himself to raising the boy's spirits. Theo! Hey, Theo! A whole bunch of us are going out to pitch some hay right now. We could use another good man. You want to come? Another time, maybe. But Pippin showed remarkable persistence. When one thing failed, he tried another. Theo! Theo, look what I got for you this time. One, two, three, look! It's not a duck. Dumbass. <laughs> Did I say it was a duck? Go on, or flop anyway. Well, most men would have given up, but Pippin, with remarkable per perseverance, tried yet another way. Theo! Theo, look what I got for you this time! Skip this part here. It was a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a whole.